Sometimes there comes a game that takes the genre and tries to do something new with it. I really enjoy FPS games, and it really makes me happy when a developer makes an effort to put their own twist on the genre. This is where Embark Studio comes into play. These are X Battlefield and Mirror's Edge devs that are coming out with a brand new game called The Finals, a fully destructible environment that is a competitive shooter, not a BR, an actual competitive shooter. A class based with teams of three face off in a parkour heavy and full of mayhem map that is fast paced. I got beta access for this last week and I put in about 20 hours into the game so far and I wanted to put my thoughts in order for about it, talk about it, see what, where I land with it. And I've really enjoyed my time with the game. There are some bugs, there are some tweaks, but I think them doing a closed beta and getting people hands on with it is an awesome, awesome idea. With the minor tweaks and changes of the format of the game, I think we might actually have a banger on our hands. The finals takes the competitive shooter genre and puts its own twist on it. There are three types of classes. The light type, which has less HP, but is faster moving, can sneak around the map. The medium type, which is the all around character, can use an AK, puts turrets up for defense or even for offense. There's also a heavy type, which is uses a heavier weapon, can also barrel through walls to make an avenue for the team. With this composition, the team jumps into one of two maps. That's what the beta has right now, which could be any time of the day, which on the sidebar, let's let's talk about that for a second, is an awesome idea. It keeps the game fresh, even when there's only two maps. So you could go in the morning and it's a little bit more foggy during the evening, which is more clear, there's rain, and there's just like, just clear skies in, during the day as well. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool idea. You drop in with three other teams and go for these cash vaults. Once capturing, a, a cash vault the team takes it to a cash out place this is where the game kind of gets crazy you can destroy fortify and protect the cash out machines in any way possible i've had them on the second floor of a building and then the team below me destroyed the floor and it brought the cash machine down so it's all physics based you could be inside a building they could take the entire building down and it could just crumble right on top of you it was very, very cool. While the opponent is cashing out, the teams can actually steal the money that's inside as well. I think the chaos is maximized around these areas, and I kind of wish that the respawn time wasn't 30 seconds, but I kind of make sense when it's the game's only eight minutes long. Well, let's kind of jump into that for a second. Each game is about eight minutes long, which in my opinion is too short. It pretty much lets each team have two cash outs max, unless you start stealing other people's cash outs. I also do wish there were more teams in the matches as well. I don't feel like four teams is enough. Maybe putting it up to six, maybe putting it up to a 10 minute match would be the ideal way to go. And maybe even lowering the time that it takes to cash out. It would bring more chaos and keep the flow of the game a little bit faster. I know these changes could happen since it is in closed beta. And the great thing about their closed beta right now is that they're updating and fixing bugs as the beta is going on. This is a really, really promising sign. And I think so far the, the sentiment of this game is really, really good. So I have I have high hopes for this. So I just wanted to kind of put my thoughts on paper into a video about the finals since I got the, the access to it. I think I have high hopes for this game. I think this game could hit. It just needs the, the right cosmetics. It needs It's a free to play game. It needs to get right battle pass kind of things to like keep the player base going. And I think we might have something special on our hands or it might just go the way of hyperscape and we see it for about what six months and they're like all right well you know what back to fortnite we go you know one of those kind of type things but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to support the channel please hit the sub button if you guys like this video please hit the like button if you want to support me streaming you can go to twitch.tv slash beard and the hair i stream over there about three times a week talk about all things video games do a lot of soulsborne content and just like that kind of type thing and just talk to chat if you want to support me directly, you can go to patreon.com slash beard and the hair. Keep everything going. There's going to be a revamp happening at the end of this month. I'm really, really excited about. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.